Hello, this is Dave from One Man Fish, Small Sign, and more. Today I'm gonna to bring to you a video on one of our fire LED edge lit signs. What comes with the sign is a five volt power supply, a USB cable to connect to the power supply, and connect the power supply to the controller. This is a completely new design from us. I actually uh, 3D print the case. I have a semi-translucent piece of uh, acrylic on the top, either blue, red, or any other color that you may specify. I'll even do clear. Um, there is a switch on top that goes from automatic mode to selectable mode. Selectable mode, you can use the mode button and actually change your modes as you wish. And when it's there, it'll stay there until you change the mode or turn it to auto mode. Auto mode will go through a eight minute program that we programmed and it'll just continuously loop eight minutes at a time. And the last button on here is the reset button. To go from selectable to auto, it will automatically change but to go back to selectable, you have to then hit the reset button, reset the program in here. The USB goes in the back. Oop, there. The USB goes in the back here. And then what goes into here, go, connects to the sign. I have a um, cable. It's like a microphone extension cable that goes from the controller goes to the back of the sign right there. This is a 7 by 24 inch edge lit sign. Normal price with a single color LED is $95 for this size sign. You would just get a single color LED in the base, power supply, and microfiber towel to wipe it down without scratching it. It's the best kind of towel to use with the acrylic so that's why I actually include one with your purchase. Now for the fire LED upgrade to get the control box and the fire LEDs inside the base it is now a $65 upgrade no matter what size sign that you actually get. If you get a 4 foot sign or if you get a little 12 inch sign it's a $65 upgrade. The fire LEDs do look best in signs that are at least 16 inches long or longer. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take the power supply, plug in the USB cable, plug into the wall. Now we get the power. We're going to connect the cable to the controller and connect or to the sign. No. We're going to connect to in here. A little, little bit of a glow in here. But then the sign starts going. Now when the sign gets all the way down to the far end, you'll notice that my logo, the fire logo, lights up inside the controller. Now I'll back up a little bit and show you some of the modes. Okay, now that I get the camera backed away from the sign again, I can show you the, the different modes on the, the Fire LED controlled edge lit signs with the new controller that I just redesigned and got the switches and the extra button all to work now finally. Before it used to be an acrylic box that I laser cut and glued together and just had a reset button on it. Now we have the new design of the new Fire LED controller. I'm all set to show the world what this thing can do. Now I'm going to show you the modes. I'm going to actually turn off the light so you can see them a lot more clearly. But I left the light on currently right now so you can see the first mode in just a regular light that's from our in our kitchen. Okay, almost completely dark in here. There's a little bit of ambient light, not much. 
mode one. So nice rainbow sweep going back and forth, changing colors as it goes along. There is 30 modes all together. I'm probably gonna breeze through these pretty quick. So you can see a little bit of each one. I won't say what they are, we'll just see them. Okay, now we're back at the very first one again of the selectable modes. As you can see, there is a lot of different variations of different functions, I should say. Um, and then there is multiples of the same function, but in different colors. And I change each one by clicking on the mode button. Now I'm gonna flick the switch on the top down to auto. I'm gonna let it run quickly. Um, I'll probably speed it up for the full eight minutes. That's the beginning of the automatic.
All right. My minute time was based on my larger sign that I have for shows that I do. Smaller the sign, the quicker it goes through the patterns. Now I go back into the selectable, I can just flick it back up and wait until this goes through the whole pattern and then it'll automatically go to the very first pattern on the selectable, which is the Cylon that goes back and forth. Or if I'm being impatient, I can hit the reset button, wait uh, about three seconds and it'll jump back into the Cylon so I can select and pick my mode again. Once again, this sign with a single color LED, the Psy sign is $95 plus shipping. To have the fire LED upgrade, it's an additional $65. But the nice thing about the fire LED signs is when I come up with new programs, I will let you know. I will post it on Facebook saying that I came up with a bunch of new programs. You can send me this box back. I will add your programs onto it and then send it back to you and it should work fine. You'll have more programs to choose from. Or if you want certain ones totally deleted from it, I can totally delete those. This is Dave Vissers from OneMadFish.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you have any questions, you can send me an email. I'll post it in the bottom here somewhere. Or you can leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to reply. Thanks for watching.